We do begin with Jacob Blake. He was shot seven times by a police officer back in August of 2020 and is now speaking out for the very first time following the news that the officers involved in that incident will not be charged. Here is part of what Jacob Blake told Good Morning America's Michael Strahan. All I remember at that point was kind of leaning back, looking at my boys. I said, Daddy, love you, no matter what. I thought it was going to be the last. <clears throat> I thought it was gonna be the last thing I say to them. Thank God it wasn't. Senior correspondent Alicia Quarles is joining us now from the New York newsroom with more on this one. And Alicia, such emotional words there and quite a visual with uh, Jacob Blake in the wheelchair. What else did he have to say? Yeah, Thomas, very emotional. So he walked Michael through the events of that day, and he also spoke to the fact that there were reports he had a knife in his hand. He said it actually was just a pocket knife that fell out of his pocket as police approached him. He then went to put it in the car before surrendering. Now, as you see in the video, police grabbed him by the shirt, and then Officer Rustin Shesky starts shooting. Now, he says despite police reports, they never identified why they were there. He says he wasn't resisting. He was just fighting to live. I resisted to getting beat on. And what I mean by that is not falling, not letting them put their head on my neck. That's all I was thinking. And thankfully, he didn't suffer the same fate as George Floyd. As you can see, sadly, he's partially paralyzed, and Officer Shesky faces no charges. And Alicia, following the Wisconsin District Attorney's decision, Jacob Blake's attorney released a statement saying, in part, quote, we will continue to press forward with our own investigation and fight for systemic change in policing and transparency at all levels. Alicia Quarles reporting for us. Alicia, keep us posted. Thank you for this report.